Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So in this video guys, ang pag-uusapan natin is all about shaftings. This is part of your machine design or this can be a part of your strength of materials. So first of all, what is shaftings? So shaftings are cylindrical machine member used to transmit rotary motion. So yung ating rotary motion, it transmit niya into uh, power. So for example, uh, turbine tayo dito, mayroon tayong turbine, say turbine. Okay, so yung nakakopple sa turbine papunta doon sa generator natin, let's say ito yung generator, that is your shafting. So basically, that mechanical energy that uh, being transmitted to that shaft, okay, itatransmit niya yun doon sa generator in order to produce electricity. So yun yung main application ng ating shaftings, okay, sa industry. Now, let's analyze the formulas involved in shafting. So, napakaraming formula guys, but let's start from the basic. Basic muna tayo. This is the torsional stress. Okay, yung torsional stress involved in uh, shaftings and of course, the power transmitted by shafts. Okay? We'll be solving a uh, passport exam problems here. So, nag-prepare ako ng dalawang problem na pag na natin, isolve yung mga problems involving shaftings. Okay? So, let's analyze first. Okay, analyze muna natin yung mga formula that are involved here. Okay? So, yung ating torsional stress, okay, kung meron tayong shaft dito, so this is shaft, so let's say a uh, circular shaft, commonly used na ginagamit guys is uh, circular shaft. Okay? So, if this is your torque here, so iikot yan, rotary motion, meron siyang torque, syempre. Torque, of course, torque is equal to force. Okay, yung force times radius. So, kung anong radius nito? Yung force natin dito mag-apply sa outermost. Okay, ito ang force niya. Kung walang given, kung walang given tayong T. Okay? So, kung given yung torque, no problem na yan. So, eto. Uh, yung ating shear stress, shear stress. Okay? Shear stress siya kasi ano, kasi this is applied dito sa surface. Okay, surface nung ating shafting. Okay, shear stress or torsional stress is equal to, uh, give here, Tc over J. So, ano yung T natin? T is the torque. Okay, ito. The torque of this rotary motion. Yung C natin is the distance from your neutral axis. Kung ito yung ating shaft. Ang neutral axis natin, of course, is yung center ng shaft. Okay? Ito yung reference point natin. That is the center of the shaft. To the outermost. Okay? Yung outermost na uh, surface. Ito. Ito yung outermost surface. So, that's just basically your radius if this is the case. Okay? So, yung J natin, this is your polar moment of inertia. Okay? Since na most commonly used ang ating... Circular shaft, so for circular shaft, okay, yung ating polar moment of inertia is pi d raised to 4 over 32. Okay? So, yan yung for solid shafting. Okay? Kung siya ay hollow, ibig sabihin meron siyang inner diameter. Kung hollow siya, so yung ating JC for hollow shaft is pi, okay? I-minus lang natin. So, DO outside diameter raised to 4 minus... Inside diameter raised to 4 all over 32 pa rin. Okay? So, let's derive the formula for finding the uh, torsional stress that are involved in a circular shafting. Kasi ito talaga na shaft ang ginagamit natin sa industry. Lahat yan circular. So, bihira gumamit ng ibang shape. Basically, itong J natin, nakadepende yan guys sa shape of your material. Okay? May mga table tayong ginagamit for that particular parameter. Okay? So, shear stress is equal to torque. Okay, yung C natin is just radius. Okay? Ang J natin, for solid, so solid tayo ng solid shafting. For solid, T, TR over J. Ang J natin for solid uh, shaft is pi D raised to 4 all over 32. Okay? So, igawin natin uh, pare-parehas yung ating variable. So, itong radius, igawin natin siyang diameter. So, T times R. So, yung R natin is basically one half of your diameter. So, this is all over. So, pi D raised to 4 all over 32. Okay, ang mangyayari, yung 32, po, pwede natin ilagay sa taas. So, 32 times D over 2 
times t here all over pi d raised to 4. So 32 divided by 2. So this is 16. So this is 16 t. Okay? Yung d natin here, cancel na natin yan dito sa baba. So this will become pi d cubed. So this is the formula for finding the shear stress for solid circular shaft. So 16 t over pi d cubed. Okay? Now, if you're dealing with hollow, so hollow cylindrical shaft, okay? For hollow cylindrical shaft, gawin natin natin yung formula. So, S sub S, shear stress, torsional stress yan. So, T times yung ating R, of course, outside diameter all over 2. Kasi if this is the case, kung ito siya, okay? Yung distance natin from the neutral axis, which is the center, okay, to the outermost, a part of your shaft that is your radius outside so that is d over 2 do over 2 that is our r here so all over so pi j natin for hollow shafting so pi do over 4 minus di over 4 okay all over 30 so, if this is the case, ito, punta natin sa taas. So, 16t, okay? D, O, all over, pi, times the quantity, okay? D, O, raised to 4, minus D, I, raised to 4. So, this is the formula for hollow shafting. That is for the stress, okay? So, yung power transmitted, ka natin, oh, this is the two formulas. This is for solid, this is for hollow. Now, for the power transmitted by your shaft, so power, so yung natural lang natin na ginagamit na formula. So, power is equal to torque times N. Okay, yung torque natin from this uh, given sa mga problem. And yung N natin is the rotational speed. Okay, yung speed ng speed of rotation ng ating uh, shafting. This is measured in, in terms of uh, radian per second. Okay, kung naka-revolution siya, uh, revolution per minute or RPM, convert mo siya to radian per second. So basically, if N is in RPM, is in RPM, you can use, okay, pwede mong gamitin yung uh, empirical formula for power that is P is equal to 2 pi, okay, Tn over 60, okay, where N is in RPM. Yan, okay na. So itong 2 pi is your conversion factor for N. If revolution, di ba, 2 pi equals 1 rev, so basically, you just memorize this, P equals T, and then magmamatter na lang yung iyong solution dun sa conversions mo. Okay, so ito sa board exam, you can use this para mas madali. If naka, ano na siya, naka RPM, just use this 2 pi T, N over 60. Okay, yung 60 natin is the conversion factor for minute, so 60 seconds equals 1 minute. That's why meron siyang 60 dyan. Okay, this is the parameters that are going to be discussed in this particular video. So, solve tayo ng ano dito guys, problem. This is a parse board exam problem for machine design. Okay, a hollow shaft has an inner diameter of 0 0.035 meters and an outer diameter of 0 0.06 meter. Compute the torque if the shear stress is not exceed. Okay, 120 megapascal. So, dapat yung ating uh, shear stress or torsional stress is 120 megapascal. So, yung required dito, now, let's just uh, first identify the given inner diameter, di, is 0 0.035 meters. Okay, so outer diameter is 0 0.06 meter. Yung ating uh, stress is 120 mega pascal. So, importante pa rin dito guys yung ating conversion. So, it's very important sa board examination. Conversion of units. So, yung ating required, so the required here, okay, is the torque. What is the torque if this is your conditions? So, using solution natin, so given required and solution. So, the solution is, so pardon my handwriting guys, no? Medyo pangit talaga ang sulat ni engineer, pero it, uh, yung solution talaga yung nagmamatter dito. So, sana naiintindihan yung sulat ko. So, here, uh, ito. Stress equals, so, this is a hollow shaft. So, gamitin natin yung formula na 16T. Okay, DO 
all over pi times the quantity do raised to 4 minus di raised to 4. So, that's the formula to be used. Then, extract lang natin yung t here. So, therefore, we can say that t is equal to, so, ito yung multiply natin doon. Okay, then, i-divide natin by 16 do. So, basically, this becomes s times pi times do raised to 4 minus di raised to 4 all over k 16 d sub o okay that's the torque so t is equal to so s natin is 120 k mega pascal then yung ating pi lagi natin constant pi so do is 0 0.0 0, 0.06 meter so that is raised to 4 lagi natin ng parenthesis dito so, minus di, 0 0.035 meters. So, raised to 4 pa rin siya. All over, okay, 16. Okay, 16 do. So, 0 0.06 meter. So, torque equals, eto guys, gawin na natin siyang, ano, okay, 120 megapascal. So, that is mega newton per square meter. So, para at least makita natin that ang unit natin is newton times distance. So, this is in newton meter kung torque siya. So, times pi times we have your 0 0.06 meters raised to 4 minus 0 0.035 meter raised to 4. Okay, all over. So, 16 times 0 0.06 meters. Basically, if you have your unit analysis here, so this is in raised to 4, so meter raised to 4, divided by meter, so that is just in cubic meter sa taas dito, in this part. Cubic meter divided by square meter, so that is in meter. So, ang unit nito guys is mega newton meter. So, just input that in your calculator, so torque natin here is in mega newton meter. So, we just convert that to kilo newton meter afterwards. Uh, after we find the equivalent of this. So, use your calculator to find the equivalent of these values. So, this is equivalent to 4.5, okay, times 10 raised to negative 3, okay, mega newton meter. So, I convert natin siya, guys, to kilo newton meter para patanggal natin yung cube dito. So, torque equals. So, in order to convert mega newton to kilo newton, lagay tayo dito ng conversion. So, uh, we have here. 1,000 okay, kilo newton that is 1 mega newton okay so 1,000 so tatlong zero so kilo tatlong zero so bali anim na zero so that is 1 mega newton or million okay this will cancel out and you multiply this by 1,000 so this becomes 4.5 okay kilo newton meter so that is our final answer for this problem okay so that is the torque so, the analysis is that if you have this condition, okay, if you have this shaft, so itong shear stress natin, nakadepende yan, guys, sa material. So, material. Okay, if your material strength, shear strength niya is 120 megapascal, if this is the condition, ito yung ating mga dimensions of the shafting, dapat yung ating minimum, minimum torque should be 4.5 kN. If the torque exceed this, Okay, the material could fail uh, due to uh, shear stress. Okay, so this is the minimum torque that can be handled by your shafting. Okay, so that's the importance of its uh, design. Okay, let's move on to our next problem. So this is another passport exam problem, but in this problem, we are going to find the power. So what power should a spindle 55 millimeters in diameter transmit at 480 rpm stress allowed for short shaft is 59 newtons per so yung ating given dito diameter so this is a solid kasi yung diameter natin na uh, given is just your outside so 55 mm then yung ating uh, this is your rotational speed ng ating uh, shafting is 480 a 480 rpm or revolution per minute okay 480 rpm the stress allowed for the short shaft 
is 59 newton per uh, square millimeter. So, P is equal to torque times N. Okay, yung ating N is the rotational speed in radian per second. Okay, so T times N, i-unit analysis na lang natin siya afterwards. Okay, but this is the formula for finding your power. So, using this concept, torque muna hanapin natin. So, yung torque can be found using your shear stress. So, stress is equal to 16T over pi d cube. So, this is a solid shaft. So, therefore, we can say that T is equal to pi uh, s d cube. Okay, multiply natin to dun sa kabila. Multiply pi d cube both sides and divide both sides by 16. Okay, so this becomes... Uh, pi, S natin is 59 newtons per square millimeter. Okay? So, this is all over 16. So, times D cube. So, 55 millimeters cube. So, T is equal to. So, you can input that in your calculator. So, that is 1,927,391. Okay, 0.637. That is in Newton millimeter. So, that's the unit of that. Now, hanapin natin guys yung uh, power using this concept. So, ito guys, i-convert natin siya into kilo Newton meter. So, T is equal to, so ito yung multiply natin to our conversion. Ano? So, this becomes 1 kilo Newton. So, this is 1,000 Newton times, convert natin itong millimeter to meter. So, 1 meter per 1,000 mm. So, torque natin, basically, this becomes divided by 1 million. So, 1,000 times 1,000. So, 1 point, okay, 1.927. So, let's get this. 1.927391. So, that is kilo Newton meter. So, we can find the power. So, power is equal to T times N. So, yung T natin is 1.927391. Okay? Kilonewton meter. So, N natin guys is 480. Okay? 480 revolution per minute. So, ito, makikita natin dito hindi consistent yung units natin. So, in order to get kilowatts, okay, kilowatts, dapat meron kang kilojoule per second, okay? Or kilonewton meter per second. In this case, wala tayong second. So, i-convert natin yung minutes to second. Then, yung revolution natin should be also cancelled. So, i-convert natin to into radian. So, converting this, convert natin yung revolution to radian. So, we have 2 pi rad, okay? 2 pi, that's a unit less value 2 pi rad over 1 revolution. So, ito, 1 minute per 60 seconds. So, doon na natin makukuha yung formula that the P is equal to 2 pi Tn over 60. So, doon lang siya nang galing. But basically, ito lang naman yung formula natin, guys. Okay? So, i-convert natin lang para makuha natin yung 2 pi Tn over 60. So, power equals... So, this will cancel out here. Minute will cancel out. Revolution will cancel out. So, that's kilonewton meter per second or kilowatts. So, this is 96.88. So, 96.88. So, unit na dito guys is kilonewton meter per second or convert natin. So, kilojoule is kilonewton meter. Okay, cancel na yun kilojoule per second and kilowatts is kilojoule per second so basically this will cancel out here so that is in kilowatts so power is equal to 96.88 kilowatts so that's the power transmitted by the shaft in this specific condition okay so, I hope that you learned from this video, guys. We are going to solve more problems in machine design in other uh, topics. So, this is a preliminary topic for uh, shaftings. So, marami pa tayong i-discuss for shaftings kasi marami tayong formula ang ginagamit in machine design. Okay? Regarding the shaftings. So, see you guys on my next video. 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? Subscribe nyo yung channel na to para at least updated kayo sa mga future videos natin. God bless. Thank you guys. And stay safe.